Let's resume our discussion about the series of bleeding and coagulation disorder. Today's topic is serum versus plasma. Is there a difference? This is today's topic, so let's get started. These are my previous videos in this series, so make sure to save this playlist and subscribe. In the previous video, we have discussed the thrombocytopenia evaluation algorithm, and we said when platelet count is low, next thing is to check hemoglobin white blood cell count. If they are abnormal, which means everything is abnormal, platelet white blood cells and red blood cells, examine the bone marrow. Normal, peripheral smear. If you see the satellites, it's pseudothrombocytopenia. If you see the schistocytes, it's microangiopathic hemolytic anemia. If you see red blood cells are normal, but platelet size are normal or increased, and the size could be ITP drug induced thrombocytopenia or infection induced thrombocytopenia. When blood is left alone in a vertical test tube, it will sediment. This is called gravity, and this Wisterdern tube is numbered from zero and then one, two, three, like this. It's upside down. And it's written like this. I'm sorry. G-R-E-N. Okay, so we have plasma on the top, red blood cells at the bottom, and you have the thin buffy coat that contains white blood cells and platelets. The buffy coat can appear green because of the myeloperoxidase created and secreted by the neutrophils. Leave the blood to form a clot in the test tube. Do not add an anticoagulant. In other words, do not use the purple top tube because the purple top test tube contains EDTA and anticoagulant. We don't want to use this. We want to use another test tube with no anticoagulant. Leave the whole blood. After a while, it will form a clot, a thrombus. The thrombus then will contract and will, when it contracts, the remaining part of the plasma is called the serum. The serum is defibrinated plasma. It's plasma without fibrin. It's plasma without the coagulation factors. So the plasma or the blood clot contains platelets, red blood cells, and plasma coagulation factor. The serum is just the plasma with no fibrin or coagulation factors. Plasma minus clot equals serum. Plasma without fibrinogen equals serum. So serum is plasma without fibrinogen or clotting factors, and it had high concentration of serotonin. Quick comparison between serum and plasma. Serum, definition, remaining plasma after coagulation and contraction of the clot. Plasma is the blood without the blood cells, which means the watery, the fluid part of the blood. It's blood with no blood cells. Cool. Serum has no clotting factor. Plasma has clotting factors, fibrinogen and the others. Serum has no fibrinogen, plasma has fibrinogen. That's why serum cannot clot. It doesn't have any clotting factors, but plasma can clot. To prepare serum, there is no need for anticoagulant to separate. But plasma, you need anticoagulant are needed for separation because if you leave them alone, they're gonna clot. To prepare serum, it takes longer because it needs, quote, standing. Plasma, shorter time of preparation, no need for standing. Why does it take longer time? Because you have to wait until the blood clots. And then the clot starts to contract. And when it contracts, it just <coughs> releases the serum out. So if you are a math nerd like me, here is a very good logical algebra lesson for you. Whole blood equals blood cells and plasma. No kidding. Blood cells are red blood cells and the buffy coat. So, whole blood equals red blood cells plus buffy coats plus plasma. The buffy coat contains white blood cells and platelets. So, the whole blood is white blood cells plus red blood cells plus platelets plus plasma. So, but then plasma is the coagulation factors and the serum. So, the whole blood is red blood cells, white blood cells plus platelets plus coagulation factor or the clot plus the serum. And if this wasn't enough, here is another illustration. Here is the blood. The smaller circle is the plasma and it contains clotting factors and serum. So serum is a subset of the plasma. Plasma is a subset of the blood. Serum is defibrinated plasma. What is fibrin? They are some fibers of the blood clot, the fibrin meshwork. So serum is plasma minus the clot. It's the plasma minus fibrin 
and the clotting factors which include fibrinogen among others. I have lots and lots and lots and lots of questions on Facebook, so go to Facebook, just Google Facebook Medicosis, I'd like to see you there, and you can send me private messages, I usually respond in less than one hour. Thank you so much for watching, until next time, be safe, stay happy, and study hard.